know, Maz, we talked about the amateur background of Kevin Thunderstorm Johnson. Vincente Rodriguez has been in the ring against some top tier opposition, did fight for a world title, the WBO World Super Featherweight title, where he lost by a three round knockout to the problem, Adrian Broner. Oh, wow. So, formidable opponent. But he's also been a former WBO Latino Super Featherweight champion. So, Rodriguez is going to be a great test for Kevin Johnson. Absolutely. Round number one here from the Davies Event Center, live on Twitch. Glad that you can be with us. Justin Simmons alongside Maserati Marcus. We are ringside here at Brawl Wall. Yes, indeed. Shout out to everybody that's watching on Twitch right now. Big shout out to chat. And shout out to the viewers out there watching from home. Shout out to everybody that's here in the building. It's a great night tonight. That last fight was refereed by Mark Kaloy. In the ring again for this fight. That last one was fast, furious, and went all the way, and it ended up being a draw. Are we going to have a knockout and a true winner in this bout? Like I was saying, when, it, when I was talking to Kevin Johnson at media day, he told me he was going for the knockout in this fight. And he's he has he's quick, man. I can tell you right now, his hands are pretty quick. As long as as well as Rodriguez just now with his counter. Think about Rodriguez. His record, 49 and one. He is not afraid to get messy. And I'm not talking about the Argentine Messi the soccer <laughs> player. I'm talking about getting in there, making sure that the distance is closed, and being rough. Oh, what a hit. Just like that. Yes, yes, indeed. He will go the distance, Will Rodriguez. He's only been knocked down twice in his career. And Kevin is not afraid to go in there and, scr and scrap. Up close and personal. But you can see those punches really not knocking Rodriguez back. If anything, he's coming forward. He's coming forward, yeah, man. So if, if, if Kevin can go in and, and build some more power behind those punches, man, it may do something as Rodriguez goes back and delivers some haymakers of his own. But like Messi, Rodriguez short in stature but thick, hard to boot. Yeah, most definitely. So it's going it's to it like be tough for him to drop tonight, man, but as Kevin's not letting up, but Rodriguez is going right to him and definitely invading Kevin Johnson's space. The one thing that Rodriguez had noted to me was that he was looking to see if he can close this fight out early and utilize that experience advantage that he has over the younger Kevin Johnson. As Kevin Johnson's working the body. Yeah, all those last blows, though, hit off of the arms of Rodriguez, so his defense has been pretty tight so far. Yeah, oh, what a, what a hit. Except for that. Except for that one, what a, what a hit from Johnson as Rodriguez is holding on for dear life. Smart move by the veteran, though. Very smart move. Trying to get Johnson off of his rhythm. Shoot, if I got hit like that, I'd go hug him, too. Like, hold on, let's, <laughs> let, let's talk about this real quick. <laughs> Shirt, too. Yeah. So yes. That just shows to show you the best seats in the house are right here at Davies entertainment center here in san antonio absolutely so while you're on twitch and we appreciate you being with us we hope to see you in person next time that way you can enjoy our mid-match concerts because if you were here you would have saw the people's champ absolutely you saw the people's champ paul wall definitely giving a performance you would have saw question yes. come out of retirement and do his thing absolutely along with kylie performing his classic record as well and of course you would have heard some of the most classic joints spun by Michael, 5,000 watts. Absolutely, definitely brings me back to, man, I gotta go home and see if I have some of those mixtapes that he had put together, the Chop, oh. em, the Chop em Up series and all that stuff. Oh man, I was thinking about all of that stuff a little while ago, as we're here in round number two between Vicente Rodriguez and Kevin Johnson. Seeing Paul Wall definitely took me back to some really fun times. Absolutely, sure. absolutely, man, and definitely wants me I, I swear, I, 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 I told myself too, I was like, yo, real tall tee tonight. But I just had to change the wardrobe at the last minute. My wife was like, no, you're going to look crazy. So I just threw on my, my Mozzie World merch. But I should have came with a tall tee to definitely represent those times, man. It was a great era. And right now, it's a taller fighter that was in somewhat of control. But Rodriguez utilizing his shortness there to get underneath the arm and turn the table. Veteran move, veteran move by the vet Rodriguez as he's trying to go for the uppercut 
and it's not going through. You have to, I have to admit, it's going to be a little hard for Johnson to throw those uppercuts to the body because Rodriguez is so much shorter than him. Yes, indeed. And I think Rodriguez knows that the real key for, for Johnson is going to be the head area. Yeah. As Rodriguez is just trying to kind of survive this barrage and then come with his own counters. And they, and they are sneaking through the guard of Kevin Johnson, little by little. No, definitely. And as Kevin Johnson is bobbing and weaving, a lot of these punches that Rodriguez is throwing. And they're back up right against us once again. And you can see Rodriguez utilizing that strength. He's really been able to move Johnson around the ring. Yes, indeed. And that's why it seems, it seems like the, the size advantage, it seems like Rodriguez is a little more stockier and it's kind of benefiting Rodriguez right now and moving him around. Well, he just walked into that last right hand by Absolutely. Johnson and that rocked Rodriguez. Absolutely. It kind of had to stumble a little bit. Now Johnson's starting to back up Rodriguez, but he hasn't looked hurt yet. No, not, not, not at all. As Rodriguez goes... Needs his head forward. A little uppercut to the gut with the right hand. Remember, I was listening to uh, before the Kappa. Oh, oh. Uh, this week. G great, great mixtape. Classic. I mean, obviously, those, that, those are a little bit older, like after the Kappa. Yeah. And I can't say the other one because I was thinking of the one that was formerly known as that action. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. You know, you can't yeah, say that, but what did yeah, they call it? Sure. Straight to the room. Yes, yeah, the straight to the room. That's what tapes. they ended up calling. Yes, 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 yes. Shout out oh, yeah. to OG Ron C. <laughs> Classic mixtape series. Round number three of our schedule eight rounder. The uh, 20th ranked super lightweight in the country, Kevin Johnson, in the purple and gold. Connecting well with that straight right to the face of Vicente Rodriguez from Argentina. A veteran of 284 professional rounds coming into this bout. And he is not backing down against the taller fighter. Not at all. He went straight to the ropes with him and tried to land some flurries. Again, if you tuned in late, we have mentioned it before, Rodriguez has fought for the WBO World Super Featherweight title back in 2011 against the problem, Adrian Broner. He is a former WBO Latino Super Featherweight Champion. But Johnson, one of those young up-and-comers that we have grown accustomed to seeing on these Davies fight cards, with good snaps to his punches and good range on his delivery. Yeah, yes, sir. As we just saw the combination right there, he definitely landed a nice uppercut. And, a, and that oh, center, so what a drop. that sent him down. The one-two combination. The right hand right on the chin. And Rodriguez is flustered. Can he make it back to his feet? It's over. Yeah. Rodriguez got back to his feet. The corner saw enough. They didn't want the fighter to continue. Rodriguez saying what gives. He felt that he could go on, but the corner stopped it after the first knockout. Or the first knockdown ended up being the first knockout here for Kevin Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 50 seconds of round number three. The red corner signaling our referee in charge, Mark Colloy, to stop the contest. Therefore, your winner, by way of technical knockout, Kevin Thunderstorm Johnson. And that is right. The towel was thrown in, so officially yeah. a technical knockout.